Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chof. As y'all know, I hate the ocean. Why? Because water is goddamn evil. Alright? Y'all need reasons? Here, there's top 10 of them. The Let's Pacific go. Pacific Ocean, specifically the Pacific. Alright, bro. Seven. Let's Kicking go. off the list at number 10, living fossils. Also referred to as crinoids, but living fossils sounds way better, definitely. These little guys went extinct 273 million years ago, or at least so we thought. We that's a lot of zeros. We found these dudes That's a lot this past zeros. year, and they're these non-skeletal corals. They're cousins to starfish and sea urchins, but I gotta admit, they don't look. Yup, that, that that is why the ocean is evil. Don't go there. Water, evil. Don't look at this. Look at what the hell is this hentai yeah, monster? Yeah, cool. Starfish are the coolest. They're OGs. Discovered on the Pacific Ocean floor, this type of coral will attach itself to the stem of Japanese sea lily, and then they just become one over time. Any type of ocean life that undergoes symbiosis, that creeps me right out. I don't like barnacles. I have a fear of the ocean, and I'm super yes. glad that we're doing this list. So yeah. let's move on as I get goosebumps. Oh, I hate the this. Hell? I think, is like a fear of deep water. I have that. I also have a fear of shallow water. I can't swim. Number nine, Chuck Lagoon. This lagoon. Okay, shallow water, it ain't that scary. Anything else, scary. Lagoon was Japan's main base during the war, but Chuck come 1944, lagoon. the United States launched an attack, what some deem is Japan's Pearl Harbor, where 60 ships were sunk and around 250 planes went down. Okay. So for 70 years, there's been a massive graveyard sitting in the Damn. Pacific, and it wasn't until recently where we got a good look at these haunting artifacts. A photographer by the name of Super Jolly went down and did the dirty work for us. Bro, they're, 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 these ain't no jolly pictures. He called this shoot one of the scariest dives he's ever done in his entire life. They described the atmosphere filled with human skulls, gas masks, and bullets as haunting. Yeah, you don't say. Nobody was expecting these artifacts to be that well preserved after all this time. That's the terrifying thing. How is it preserved, brother? Like half of it is missing here. Photos are even still intact. You can see people's family members just sitting okay. at the bottom. How sad is that? It's a haunting reminder of naval warfare and also nope. humans. Okay, that's scary. Number eight, MV Derbyshire. This ship was twice the size of the Titanic, but James Cameron didn't make a movie about it. So let me fill you in with hey. less of a budget. Hey. MV Derbyshire was the biggest that's British big. registered merchant ship of all time to go down. That's an odd brag, but hear me out. She was assembled in 1976, but lost in 1980 en route from Canada to Japan. A okay. midday distress call was never issued and it was following proper ocean routes with weather routing companies. So they were doing all the right things. What happened? September 15th, 1980, a search began for the missing ship and crew, but six days later, the search was called off. Nothing was found. The ship was declared lost. How the fuck do you lose a ship the size of my country, brother? The sister ship of the Derbyshire ended up sinking as well later on in 1986 huh. due to deck cracking. So the families urged officials to search again for answers. Come 1990. The Derbyshire was found. Number seven, Garbage Island. There's a lot of treasure. Am I the only one that's afraid of deck cracking? What the fuck? How does a deck crack? Oh hell no! I ain't stepping a fool on a goddamn ship in, in my sea, life. But there's also lots of garbage because humans suck. Sorry. Sure. I mean, look at the top of the Pacific for the example, hey, not hey, even hey, below hey, it, but right on the surface, we have something called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's located safely in the North Pacific subtropical gyre. There's basically I don't think safely is the word we're looking for, bro. Basically four of these large systems, which are just massive swirling ocean currents moving warm and cool water about. They're whirlpools of garbage now. No wonder aliens don't want to come. They're like, no, this looks like Let's just go to that planet. A plastic bag, for example, was found at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. We now have the deepest piece of trash. Kind of hard for Ariel to sing under the sea when she's got a plastic bag wrapped around her head. This great patch is larger than you think. It's more than twice the size of Texas. It's grown up to 60,000 square much is miles. That? Please recycle. Damn. Number six, Yanaguni Monument. This Damn. I like how my boy was just casually walking there. Like, you can, you can probably catch all the disease there. The structure was discovered in the 80s Yonaguni. near Yanaguni Island in Japan. Oh, and the claim is that this is an ancient city. Or it was long ago. It's 160 Atlantis? feet long and 65 feet wide. And we're pretty torn over this one. Some think it's man-made with the lines being... Oh, it's a pyramid. It's so Underwater. straight that it looks like paths were literally carved out. And I mean, to be fair, that looks like a little staircase. If this was on land, I'd be climbing all over it. I'd think it was made on purpose. Some ancient jungle gym. But the fact that it's so deep underwater makes us think that it was a natural formation, obviously. No one's going down there like... What? How the hell would that naturally 
four mate look like a roll up taxing holding their breath the footage of it is pretty incredible if i were to come across this there's no way i would believe that it's all natural what do you guys think number five is that also part of the natural occurring phenomena underwater Huh? Holes. If you have trypophobia, you may want to look away for this Holes? next one. I have it, but I have a job to do, so I'll suffer. Off the coast of Big Sur, California, a survey revealed about 15,000 holes, depression. and they're all roughly the same size. They all measure up to about 11 meters wide and one meter deep. The team at Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute found 15,000 of these, and then they found 5,000 more that are even bigger. The little guys are micro depressions and the big ones are called pockmarks. Initially, scientists thought methane under the sea. I mean, micro depressions, we're already dealing with some big depressions. What the fuck are micro depression going to do to us? Another shitty joke out the way, let's go! was coming out to say hello, and then they left a crater. Rovers went down there, tests were done, no methane. In fact, there hasn't even been any activity for 50,000 years. These craters Damn. are doing a pretty good job, though, when it comes to the ecosystem. Now there's deep-sea creatures just living in them, without paying rent. How rude. They even found a whale skull just laying in one. Imagine being a crab and coming home to that. Number four, USS Nevada. A whale Deemed skull. the unsinkable ship, and for good reason, the USS Nevada was lost in it's 1948, and it wasn't in- Bro, how you gonna say the unsinkable ship, and bam, it was lost. Until to me. a year ago, which was seen again. Unsinkable ship that sunk. What's what's going on here? Well, during the 1941 surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, the USS Nevada was the only battleship to get away in one piece. Oh, is that but way? Barely, it's the they barely got away. Okay. It took years of repairs, but she finally returned to battle in 1944 to support the Normandy invasion. A year later, it okay. assisted the invasions of Okinawa and Iwo Jima, and then two atomic. Oh, we heard about that island, huh? Bomb huh? tests were performed, and then post World War II, she was finally deemed too ancient for service. So the Navy used the USS Nevada as target practice and it took five whole days and long. Bro, y'all used the unsinkable ship as target practice. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? What? Lots of power. And give it to Bulgaria. We would use that shit. Nothing's too ancient for us. We would use that shit. To finally sink it. A torpedo was the final strike. And after it sank, the Navy wasn't really sure where exactly it would end up. It was more than 15,000 feet Dying below the surface, practice. so it could have gone literally anywhere. Hence why we can't find anything else on this list. You get wow. it. Cut to last year, May 2020, a joint expedition by Ocean Infinity and Search Inc. led by Dr. James Delgado found her. Just 65 nautical miles southwest of Pearl Harbor. It took a little while, but we got gotcha. you. Number three. I mean, was anyone actually looking? They, they, they used it as target practice. They knew where they fucking sunk that shit. Amelia Earhart. Yeah, you heard me. Amelia, Amelia Earhart. Er the first Earhart. woman to fly across the Atlantic was well on her way to setting even more groundbreaking records, but her plane tragically disappeared oh. somewhere. I see what you did. She She's a pilot. She said... An Okay, ground, okay. Over the Pacific in 1937. I see you, bro. It's since been a great mystery where the final resting place of Amelia Earhart is, but we may have actually found her remains back in 1940 on the Pacific island of Nikumaroro. The initial examination of these remains were reported to be that of a man. That was the general idea in 1941. But come 2018, however, we now have a different idea. Science got better, our ideas got smarter. Researcher Richard Johns took another look at these lost remains, and since those days, we've learned more about Amelia Earhart photos have surfaced since so now he's comparing the bone measurements to her body type and they're actually pretty sure that that's our missing aviator and that wait how the he what we had her the whole time and we just didn't know number two the well, that does not sound like a very re a reliable way to tell that that was her dragon's triangle the dragon's triangle the tri is located in the pacific I've obviously never heard of that. most of these and it's like the evil dragon sister triangle? of the bermuda triangle and just like that triangle this one also takes the blame for disappearing ships and planes and apparently ufos are flying about of course, of course. as they do as the devil sea these names are so scary sounding like i don't know change the names and maybe it won't be spooky anymore just an idea there have been ufo sightings magnetic anomalies planes and ships vanish. In 1945, for example, a Mitsubishi A6M0 went missing and the pilot's distress call said the sky is opening up. Then they disappeared. 1955, a Japanese ship named the Shinyo Maru lost radio contact and it didn't take long for the New York Times to coin the term the Devil Sea. All these spooky the triangles are ocean currents to blame or is there something truly paranormal about the Devil Triangle? Aliens, aliens. Let us know in the comments down below. Sea Illuminati confirmed.
And finally, number one, crop circles. We'll finish this list off crop with a Q1, circles. I guess. Although I'm arguing this is still pretty terrifying. Crop circles on the ocean floor, aliens confirmed. They were first spotted back in 1995 off the southern coast of Japan. And for 16 years, these things were blowing the minds of divers. Nobody knew where they were coming from. They would just be there one week and then gone the next. Tiny aliens or tiny puffer fish. That's right. In 2011, one of these dudes got caught in 4K. And it's one of the where? weirdest, Short most picture. cute things I've ever seen these male puffer fish. Okay. They try and lure that that's actually cute Why the hell is this motherfucker biting the other motherfuckers face off? In the ladies by making art. Yeah, some birds dance oh, like crazy wow. with their weird mouth okay, looking wing cute. things Some what fish that is make evil, art. Though. I don't know deal with it animals are the thing that baffles me, concerns me, if anything, is that the puffer fish uses a shell Like he uses a tool to carve out his emotions. That's Check awesome Wait, that's how big it is and he made that whole Jesus Christ, what's what's our excuse now? A motherfucking fish with no hands did this. What's our excuse now? Fuck nature, why you gotta be like this? Guys, thank you so much that's for joining awesome. us on Most Amazing. Okay, that was pretty cool. Hey, let's go back to the fish. That's cute as hell. Still, water is evil, don't step in it, okay? Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this, and if you did, hey. Cool. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Quick thank you to YouTube members of Patreon. Thank y'all for the support. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.